Uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. I really want to talk today and have a little bit of a chat about a gun that probably doesn't get enough attention. Um, I'm talking, of course, about the gun I'm holding in my hand right now, the 9mm Wonder Kid, the Uzi Wunderkind. I mean, it doesn't make any sense at all because it's not, not a young child and it's not abnormally gifted. I don't know. That's a terrible, terrible metaphor. Uh, this is a video that I've been planning to make for a while because I kept cutting footage and the footage would have nice clips of Uzi, squad wipes and things. And I realized that one of the guns that I have actually had the most squad wipes with is this thing here, the Uzi. And I've had many, many iterations where I've had two knocks in one clip, even with 25 rounds. And I've had uh, squad wipes followed by more squad wipes and all kinds of weird stuff. And I realized this gun has actually been exceptionally good for me uh, in PUBG Mobile, which is a big surprise because it's a gun I didn't like for ages. One of the things that does very, very, very poorly is pre-fire. If you are pre-firing with an Uzi and you win, you'll often find that it's the last round in the clip that you will get the win with. And that pre-fire is absolutely brutal because if you don't have an extended quick draw magazine, you are both reloading slower than you really want to be and you are also don't have enough to have a, a big long pre-fire. But what it does incredibly well is hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. And you can even ADS with it. Unless, of course, you're hip firing into a windowsill. In which case, yeah, just not a good idea at all. Um, you can even ADS with it and it, it will work very, very well. It's got a beautiful synergy with that gun that you saw right there, the M416, or indeed a Scarrell or an Org or anything like that. Because this gives you the ability to run uh, a gun that can really cover off on long range as well as an Uzi, which is one of the greatest CQC weapons in the game. The only thing it, it really struggles against is those low ping bastards running a Graza. But look at that hip fire, absolutely broken. Um, the UMP is another one that is brilliant at this, but the UMP and the Uzi are different in a couple of key areas. Uh, the UMP is probably better suited as a more versatile SMG. It's not good at all the stuff, but it's certainly able to mount a 3X and and a, a lower rail attachment and all those kind of things. Whereas the Uzi straight out of the box, it just it's just a broken hip fire. It always has been. And it is in fact the meta was originally not DBS M416, which is pretty funny. It was Uzi M416 way back in the day. All the competitive scrim players and everyone were running Uzi M416. Or AKM DP28. Uh, if you're an Indian YouTuber, your name's Soul Mortal and you wanted to influence the world. Um, I do love the fact that this gun is such an easy plug and play. By that I mean you pick this up on a hot drop, you have an elite CQC weapon straight off the bat. And you're seeing a lot of these gunshots and, and fights are being won in hot drop situations, straight, like first point of contact. Um, and why is it so effective there? Well, there's two things. One is it doesn't need a lot of attachments to be just brutal. The other is that early on in the game when people don't have a lot of armor, the Uzi really, really excels. As you progress in the games and you end up with everyone having level three armor and level three helmets and it becomes more of a, a thing. Um, I mean, look at that, that ADS there. It's... It's got no recoil on it whatsoever. Uh, and it becomes more of a thing as you progress and the armor builds up. Uh, you can find that you need heavier alpha damage weapons to get through some of that armor. And because you have to like sink so many rounds into the target, you spend more time on the target than you're probably comfortable with. And that's okay. Because, I mean, if everything was perfect in all situations at all times, there really would be no variation in the game and it wouldn't be a lot of fun and there's one reason we play this game 
I mean, not all of us do this for a living, making videos. But even if we didn't, I would still play this game because it's fun. It's just fun. It's just a really fun game. So I'm giving you all the positives about the Uzi. Let's talk about the real negative, and that's the bullet speed. The bullet speed is abhorrent, like most SMGs, but it's particularly bad with this gun because you give up a lot to run CQC, and I mean, look at it. It just rinses. Um, and if you are running it for anything other than CQC, then you're only doing that because you're forced to run it because your second slot weapon is not ideal. Like if you have an Uzi and an AKM, well, that's not a good loadout. If you have an Uzi and a shotgun, it's not really a good loadout. You are super limited. It is such a specialist weapon. Um, and that's because the bullet speed is incredibly low. It has no recoil, but if the target's traversing left to right in front of you, then you really do struggle because the bullet speed is so low that you've got to lead targets by incredibly large amounts, even though the hip fire again and again. Like, it was weird to me to go through um, a stage where I didn't like this gun, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was such an FPP player and that I kept ending up in situations where I would pre-fire corners. And one of the biggest things about FPP is you've got to pre you've got to pre-fire. Like if you're not pre-firing an FPP, you're dead because it's it's such a game of sound and magic. And if you're not pre-firing, well, trouble towns for you. A little bit of screen lock there, which was always good fun. Uh, and I found that the Uzi was just letting me down when I was pre-firing. It was it just didn't have the ammo, and it wasn't really built for it. And the other thing is, I kept running into people doing that with shotguns. And the Uzi is like, oh, it's great fun. But if you're sticking around and they got a shotgun, it's only one shot. You see the movement speed bonus there, though? That was a lot faster than you would get with a normal AR. And that's because there is a benefit to running SMGs. SMGs give a great bonus to movement speed. On a hot drop, again, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the hot drop. Everyone here is struggling for gear. I don't have a vest. There's people without weapons. Look at the accuracy of this gun. I am not a great player. There is no one's going to tell you that I should be running PMCO or or leading the Conqueror Frake standings. But this gun doesn't care. It's so filthy. It's so lethal. Look at everyone coming in with the melee kill. Give me his gear. Give me his gear. Give me his gear. This is probably where the Uzi is at its best. On a straight up hot drop when you've got nothing else in your hands, there's very few guns that you can feel as comfortable with as an Uzi. It really is a superb 1v1 weapon in the early part of the game. It's rate of fire, it's ease of use, it's absolute pluggability. You can't beat it. Um, and I find, looking through these clips, that it is just constantly Uzi squad wipes. This is such a weird game, I remember this. There's a guy above us. This is like a conqueror above us. And he got a knock on McDingling and wouldn't push. This is ages ago. And I'm just dropping KFC gear for dingers. Um, he got a knock on McDingling and wouldn't push. And we ended up just running around underneath him and his partner for about two minutes, waiting for a gunfight. Absolutely wild. So if you haven't been, he's just kept running away. I don't know why. I don't know what he was doing, but it was weird because he was the, I think he was the plane lead and he just wouldn't take a gunfight. Um, if you haven't been running this gun, I highly recommend that you start putting it into your kick. I know everyone wants to run DBS. I know everyone loves the UMP. The UMP's blend of hip fire and high alpha is very unique. The Uzi's got an extraordinary low alpha number. You need a lot of rounds to make anything work, and that means you've got to spend time on target, and you can't afford to miss your pre-fires or your hip fires. But if you need it to clutch up, and you need a situation where it absolutely has to get done, and it's all CQC, then the Uzi is probably the weapon that you want to turn to, despite the fact that it's just a simple, well drop 9mm SMG. That's him. That's him. And I'm like so convinced he's going to get revived. I'm just like, hang on, dingers. Got to take care of some business here first. See you, buddy. Thanks very much for coming.
I'm Bushka. Look after yourself. Stay safe on the battlefield. If you want more of these kind of videos, looking at some of the guns and some of the work that goes on, give me a yell. And uh, yeah, until next time, au revoir.